Hi friends, welcome to another video on Tutorials Point with me, Richa. And today in this aviation module segment, we are going to talk about a very interesting topic which is known as safety equipment and checks in flight. Well, safety equipments are supposed to be mandatory put in each and every aircraft which flies in a commercial manner. And these safety equipments help in case of an emergency. So let's look at what is on the agenda today. Well, we will talk about getting familiar with safety equipment on board the aircraft, knowing what to check on equipment as well as certain protocols with regards to each and every equipment on board, some safety drills that we will talk about and passenger and crew seat description. This is what we are going to talk about in our module today. So let's get started. Friends, what exactly is aviation safety? Well, safety revolves around anything which deals with an emergency and because of which you need to be safe as well as the passenger, the flight crew, the captain, co-pilot, etc. Quickly, a definition of what aviation safety is. Aviation safety is a term encompassing the theory, the investigation and categorization of flight failures and the prevention of such failures through regulation, education and training. It can also be applied in the context of campaigns that inform the public as to the safety of air travel. Well, during a flight, it is the mandatory requirement or protocol to be followed by the cabin crew or the flight attendant to inform the passengers about how these safety equipments are to be used in case of an emergency. And it is the duty of passengers to listen to these announcements as well as demonstration that the captain or the cabin crew is telling them to follow. Certain safety equipments which are there on board the aircraft, we have life jackets, we have flashlights which are used when there is a power failure inside an aircraft. We have oxygen masks, fire extinguishers as well as the axe which is used to break something very hard. Now today in this module friends, we look at each of these equipments in detail. So starting with the oxygen mask, what exactly is an oxygen mask? Well, these oxygen masks are placed above in the passenger service unit or the PSU. And in case of a decompression, these oxygen masks deploy automatically. The passenger is supposed to pull the mask towards them and secure it. Rather, the harness has to be secured around their head area and they need to start the oxygen flow by pulling it towards themselves. So it is important that it is used in case of a decompression and each and every passenger has a oxygen mask which is there in case of an emergency for them. In each panel there is an extra mask just in case one of the mask is not working correctly. Coming to the life jacket, life jackets are mandatory aboard each and every aircraft. Each and every passenger has a life jacket underneath their seat. In fact, we also have infant life jackets or children life jackets which are smaller in size and easy for the children to wear. Coming to the oxygen bottle, well oxygen bottle is a mandatory requirement for again all the aircrafts which are flying in a commercial manner. Oxygen mask may be classified as element, a glass or rather gas and a drug. Now oxygen bottles are secured under a particular area in the cabin or rather under the crew's jump seat and these oxygen bottles are to be used to give oxygen to passengers in case they do not have sufficient supply from the oxygen mask. Oxygen therapy is administration of oxygen at a concentration which is greater than that of the room air. So, when you have to give oxygen to a passenger who might have hypoxia or who might be lacking oxygen, you give oxygen to them at a lower or a higher speed depending on their requirement. But it is very important to make sure that you know how to give oxygen to a passenger. Uh, coming to the megaphone, uh, well megaphone is there inside the cabin. There are two megaphones, one in the forward of the cabin and one in the aft of the cabin. A uh, megaphone is typically used by a cabin crew to do crowd control and to make some announcement when there is a power failure and the intercom is not working for the flight crew. So that is the time a megaphone is used to make sure that the passengers are able to hear the instructions of the cabin crew loud and clear. Coming to an ELT, now what is exactly an ELT? It is an emergency locator transmitter and the usage of this is during an emergency, it helps to get 
uh, you know, search and rescue teams by sending signals to these people that you are lost and you need help. So it is an SOS for them. An emergency locator transmitter is a, in a, you know, a way to give out emergency signal on a 1 to 1.5 megahertz. That is the frequency that it is used in. An ELT can be used on land and an ELT can also be used in a sea when you are ditched into water and the aircraft lands onto water. That is the time then it is again used for giving out signals for search and rescue teams. Friends, coming to fire extinguisher, this is a very important safety equipment. Again, there are four fire extinguishers under each crew jump seat and the reason why a fire extinguisher is there is for the simple reason that there might be a fire on board the aircraft, fire in the galley, fire in the toilet or the lavatory area. So basically what we are trying to say is that fire extinguishers help to uh, deal with fire and extinguish fire in a quick and a hasty manner. Coming to uh, asbestos gloves, asbestos gloves are there inside the cabin. The reason is uh, you might want to wear asbestos gloves when you're fighting fire and you want to save your hands and your body uh, from the fire. Asbestos gloves are also used to, uh, when you're touching anything hot or cold, you want to protect your hands from getting burnt or getting a frostbite. And that is the reason why you are using asbestos gloves. They're also used to handle any sharp object that you don't want to touch with your bare hands. Coming to smoke hood, uh, friends, a smoke hood is used when uh, by a cabin crew who's fighting a fire and that fire removes a lot of smoke. So to protect yourself from breathing all this carbon dioxide air which can be harmful to you and your lungs, you use a smoke hood which is basically a concept of a gas mask. When you wear the smoke hood properly over your head, your head is secured as well as you get pure oxygen and you do not inhale the outside toxic gas or air. Well, let's talk about fire axe. A fire axe is placed inside the cabin but at an area which is not really uh, seen by passengers because any passenger might misuse a fire axe as it is very sharp. So keeping safety in mind, fire axe is used. Uh, this provides emergency access to areas and parts of the airplane which are not easily accessible. So in case of an emergency, if a crew wants to break something, a part of the aircraft which is not easily accessible by bare hands, they need to use a fire axe for that purpose. The handle is insulated to protect against any kind of shock, electric shock that you might get if you're handling any electrical appliance to provide or to protect yourself from getting a shock. There is a um, a kind of uh, insulated handle uh, of the fire axe place. Uh, as I mentioned before, earlier it used to be in the cabin, but keeping safety of passengers in mind, at times the fire axe is placed in an area which is not really easily accessible to the passenger and hence it is kept in the flight deck or the cockpit area where the pilots are sitting. Well, slide draft is another equipment which is used by airlines. Now, most of the doors have an inbuilt slide draft, which can be in, you know, which can be used in an emergency situation on land as well as in certain cases. Some of the slide draft even becomes a, a kind of a boat or a, you know, a area which is used by passengers when an aircraft has ditched into water. So that is the reason why a slide draft is used. It is mandatory requirement for each and every airline that whatever number of doors you have in the aircraft, you need to have similar number of slide draft. So if an aircraft has four doors, you need to have four slide draft, which is inbuilt into the door. And when you open the door in an armed manner, that is the time the slide draft opens and passengers can jump on this slide draft and reach the ground. And during a ditching situation when the aircraft lands into water, you can actually remove the slide draft and it becomes a flotation uh, device to be used by the passengers. A very quick look at the equipment checklist which is there on board the aircraft. Let's have a look at them. We have the smoke hood which is a mask and uh, the location of this is right location inside the cockpit. So smoke hood is there not in the cabin, it's there in the cockpit. The reason is to protect the victim from fire in the effects of smoke as we mentioned before. 
Asbestos gloves, the location is, uh, of course, it is a glove which is wear and it is located again inside the cockpit area. To touch hot metals while anything probably is at a fire situation, that is the time you wear uh, asbestos gloves. Fire extinguisher is a red color fire extinguisher bottle and it is strapped to secure safety pin, handle, it has a trigger and it has a nozzle to aim the fire and fight the fire. The correct location secured with straps, it has to have the needle at the pressure gauze and it should be between 1500 to 2000 psi and very important thing, it has to be in the green band and not in the red band zone. To extinguish the fire, that is the purpose of a fire extinguisher. Oxygen mask, let's see, it has gas pipe, it has a mask and it has an elastic band which is used. Uh, the place or the location where it is, check the right location in the overhead bin inside the cabin. That is where our oxygen mask is there. It's in the overhead bin uh, which is easily accessible to the cabin crew. Uh, during decompression is where you might use the oxygen bottle. Coming to some more uh, equipment checklist, a megaphone is a push to talk button. It has a sling which you can wear around yourself. It has a speaker and it also has a handle. Check the correct location, the crew needs to check it. It has to be secured with straps. Check the push to talk button and make sure that it is, you know, you, you are able to use it and it's uh, working in an effective manner. It is used for crowd control during an emergency on land or in water. ELT is an emergency locator transmitter and it has an antenna. It has a lanyard, it has a plastic cover and it also has a battery. What does the crew need to check? Check if it is in the right location and it has a secured with the straps. ELT is generally kept in the aft of the cabin in the overhead bin compartment. To send rescue and search signal used in ditching as well as crash landing. So it is used for search engines. Life jacket is having a upper and lower chamber. It has two red toggle inflation that you use to inflate the life jacket. Tube straps around the waist. So you need to have a strap which you need to put it around your waist when you wear a life jacket. Where it should be, the location has to be under each and every passenger seat. For the crew, it is under the jump seat. It is used in case of a ditching and you will never use a life jacket when you la crash into the land. It is always used when you have to go into the water. Talking about crew jump seats, this is the place where crew members sit. If there are four crew members, there might be four jump seats. If there are five or six, there could be similar number as per the number of cabin crew. Well, uh, the reason it is different from a passenger seat is because a crew jump seat is foldable so as soon as you get up from the seat it folds back automatically and it also has harness for the crew to secure themselves it has a seat belt as well as a, a front harness so that the crew is secured that is what crew jump seat is all about coming to passenger seats well passenger seats are uh, definitely not foldable and it is erect and it is proper it has a hand rest it is also um, having a, you know an in-flight entertainment system it also has a tray area it also has a pocket which has a air sickness bag and it also has a safety instruction card above each passenger seat there is a, something known as a PSU which is passenger service unit now a aircraft component is situated above each seat row in the overhead panel above the passenger seat and it also contains certain things like it has an air wind through which you can control the air coming to your, your on, on yourself it also has a bulb or rather you know when you call, want to call a uh, air hostess you ring a bell and so it has a call bell it also has lightning wherein you can open the light if you want to read something, you can close the light if you do not want to be you know, disturbed and uh, it also has the oxygen unit which is the PSU. So that is about the passenger service unit. Now this is a very important part because it is known as aircraft logbook. It is a book which is maintained inside the cabin. Uh, it is definitely used only by the crew or the flight crew, never ever by the passenger. In this particular book, you actually write whatever incident might have happened in the flight, details about anything, a passenger might have been sick or you might have opened a first aid or a physician kit and it has to be having all de you know, the details of everything that might have happened for safety purpose. So uh, whatever the crew needs to write, she can write it in detail in this aircraft logbook. Before every flight, a crew has to check 
the flight book or the log book to see if everything has been okay. If any emergency equipment is not working properly, she needs to mention it into this particular log book. This log book is checked by the engineers, the flight engineers before every flight and after every flight. Well friends, that brings us to a conclusion on this particular module on aviation module which is on safety equipment and the in-flight checks. Well, we have spoken a lot in detail about each of these safety equipment. We sincerely hope you have enjoyed listening to this particular module as much as we have enjoyed teaching this to you. Thank you for watching us. Keep watching more videos coming your way.